Hey everyone, it's Brandy and welcome back to my channel, Brandy Janae's Bookshelf. So today's video is supposed to be a recommendations video, but because I suck, um, it's not gonna be exactly that. <laughs> As I said in the little intro portion of this video, this was supposed to be a recommendations video, but I don't think that this video is going to end up turning out exactly the way that I was hoping it would. So to start off, I do want to say that I don't really feel comfortable recommending books that I haven't read already because I don't want to recommend you something that I personally haven't enjoyed. Um, that being said, I do have a couple books that I'm going to be mentioning and then authors in general as well that you guys can check out. As I went through and like wrote down all the prompts and was going through the books that I can think of that I have read from black authors focusing on romance, I found that I have done an absolutely terrible job of reading romances from a a wide range of black authors besides the basic black romance authors that are always thrown out there like Jasmine Guillory, Talia Hibbert, Alexa Martin, Alyssa Cole and even Rebecca Weatherspoon. She is more of an indie author but I feel like her books have been floating around a lot more lately but besides those authors that I mentioned I haven't really read anything else so like I mentioned this isn't going to be a recommendation video like I was hoping it would be because I don't have that many books to recommend to you guys but I'm hoping that by the end of this readathon um as well as by the end of February I have a place to start at and um I can you know start recommending some to you guys and maybe I'll make this a monthly project and highlight those each month because like I said I have been doing a terrible job of finding new authors and branching out and you know trying new things that I would most likely be interested in. So I'm going to mention some authors, mention some books that I'm thinking about reading and go through some of the recommendations that I already had as well. Before I get into any of those specific books that I want to talk about I will quickly go back over the reading prompts just to give you guys a quick reminder of what all the prompts or all the reading related prompts are. Read a novella, a workplace romance, age gap romance, uh, childhood to grown folks, historical, rock star, friend group series, uh, romantic suspense, realistic contemporary fantasy slash paranormal, uh, fake dating, friends to lovers, enemies to lovers, second chance, single parent, sports, interracial, graphic novel, forbidden, taboo, or dark, and then mature romance. And then the other specific reading related prompt that I did not write down was reading a new to you author. And um, I didn't really write that one down for myself because I'm going to make an effort to pretty much read almost all if not completely new to me authors for this readathon. Um, I kind of going to be throwing some recommendations in here and there. I just felt like I didn't have enough to do like a full recommendations because I kind of wanted to go in this with having multiple books to recommend for each genre. But like I said, as I was making the list, I was just like, I really don't have enough books to recommend for that. So after I go through some of the books that I do have to recommend, I'm going to kind of give you guys an idea of some of the books that I have put on my Kindle or on my list on Amazon and ones that I'm going to be looking into reading and if you guys are interested in seeing this list or having a link to the list um, it is like technically like an Amazon wish list but if you want to just be able to see it to look at what I'm putting on the list because I'll probably be adding to it throughout the month as well 
um let me know as far as novella i have two for sure that's at the top of my head at the moment and that's because i just read them back in december and those are both like christmas themed novellas so i have noel the first by nicole falls it is christmas themed so if you're someone who doesn't really enjoy reading christmas themed stories after the holiday has passed you probably want to pass on this one although it was focused on christmas it most of it had to do with the two characters rekindling their friendship and then a romance starting from there so not only will this count for a novella but you can use this for other categories such as friends to lovers romance you can also use it for for the childhood to grown folks romance because the two of them actually met when they were kids another novella that would also work is wrapped up in you by talia hibbert this one like i said is another christmas themed novella but it's pretty short and it's straight to the point but it also gives you a lot of backstory which could be very helpful so this is another one that could also count for multiple categories as i mentioned it is a novella it's another actually childhood to grown folks uh, romance this could also be another friends to lovers this one can also count towards an interracial romance as well so the next one that i have a recommendation for is workplace romance and this one is kind of a little sketchy because it's one of those that I read it wasn't the biggest fan of but this one is Savannah's Secrets by Reese Ryan. This one is kind of a weird setup because our main character actually goes to apply to this specific job with purpose but she ends up starting a romance with her boss. I wasn't a fan of Savannah's character that's why I was kind of a little wary about recommending this one but it might be something you might be interested in checking out and you might enjoy it more than I did I don't know and also thinking about it um something else that I remember reading a little bit ago it was kind of a quick audiobook novella that I listened to but I know I believe it's Whitney G I'm pretty sure that she is a black author as well and she has some pretty quick novellas I think the two that I read were office related romances so those could also be used for that. The next category that I have one recommendation for is uh, fantasy and paranormal and the only one that I have for that is Better Off Red by Rebecca Weatherspoon. Now I have read other works from her that fall into like contemporary romance um, and actually she also has an age gap romance which I'm gonna get back to because I, I completely forgot about that one. This video is a mess I apologize because I was just like I said, all over the place. We're actually following this girl who gets sucked into this vampire sorority. And it is female, female romance or romances, I should say. Going back, one, to, one that I skipped over that I just realized that was an option that I had, which was uh, the Sugar Baby novella series, I believe, by Rebecca Weatherspoon. I think it's like a 20 year age gap so that definitely counts. Okay if you can see it please excuse the water on my shirt. I know it wasn't just there from the previous clip but I just washed my hands and I kind of got water everywhere. Anyway getting back <laughs> into my recommendations. So the next one that I had something to recommend for was for the fake dating um, prompt and I probably could come up with several options for this one but the main one that was coming to my mind when I was quickly trying to put this list together was Take a Hint Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert. Sorry it took me a little bit to get that out. The main focus of this one is a fake dating trope but this one also is um, a workplace romance as well as an interracial romance. It would also fit under the category of a realistic romance. You could even put it in the category of friends to lovers. The other big one that I kind of wanted to touch on was graphic novels and in this category I am counting any comics and mangas that are also possibilities. I just really wanted to make sure that I gave out some recommendations for this one since it was one of my suggestions for the list and I know that this one is a little harder to probably find some recommendations on especially because one it's already pretty hard to find um, black people that are writing comics graphic novels not only is it fine and hard to find black people in the graphic area of reading materials but then trying to 
cater that towards romance specific reads is even harder because usually when I find black people that are writing or illustrating graphic works they usually tend to be once again in that sci-fi and fantasy category. So this one was a bit more difficult especially because even the ones that I've picked out all of them don't have necessarily strict romance or like romance on the page right away. So the first one that I'm going to recommend is probably one that's going to come up in a lot of recommendations is one of the easier picks that you can go for and that is Bingo Love by T. Franklin. The next one that I'm going to recommend is more so an author but the specific one that I'm mentioning is Catch Me Fight Me Love Be Love Me sorry by Sharon Morishita. I think that was really amazing about this is that it's actually free on the author's website so you don't have to go pay anything for it at all you can just go to her website and read it and um hopefully that'll be clear enough if you see in that top box that is the author's website and i will make sure to link it down in the description box so obviously you could go check that out but she has this story she has um, her manga that I read. I know that the author actually has another story on her website, one that I haven't read that could also count. Okay, so I did just double check the author's website and she actually has three different stories that are currently available for you to read. And then the other one that I found is Crema by Johnny Christmas. I don't really know much about this one, but I do know that it looks like from the cover that it's gonna be a female female romance. And it's going to be interracial as well. But I don't really know too much more than that. So that honestly wasn't that much that I was recommending. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video. I have a very small collection of books to choose from. That would fit into what we're looking for for this readathon. Obviously we aren't going to be policing what you read. But I was just trying to make sure that the recommendations that I had were kind of following along with what we were looking for. Before I get into talking about some of the books that I came across that I'm going to be looking into reading, I figured I would go ahead and mention the two websites that I was looking on and trying to find some recommendations from. Now, I don't know how accurate or how updated each of these are. I will make sure to leave all the links down below. But the first one that I found, which I think could be very helpful, is Rome romance.io. The other website is the WOC in romance website so it's just WOC in romance.com. Um, with that being said I figured I would go through some of the books that I have added to my list and like I mentioned earlier let me know down in the comments if you're wanting to wanting me to link the list that I have come up with books that I would like to read just so you can see where I'm at and possibly where I'm going throughout the month. Some of the things that I have and I might just mention off some authors. So I want to check out Jack Harbin. I have Vanessa Riley on the list. I'm going to try my best because I know I have this thing with historical but I have learned that I do not dislike historical romance when I read Tessa Dare. I really enjoyed that. So I want to give some black women that write romance a chance. So I actually have a few different authors in my list that I want to check out. So I have Vanessa Riley on the list. I also have a couple books by Rebel Carter. I actually was able to find some paranormal romance and like sci-fi romance which I feel like I very rarely see from black women but that's also because I don't really look for them. The sci-fi alien romance is His Acclaim by Taylor Vaughn. I did also find Her Viking Wolf. That one is by Theodora Taylor. I'm still trying to add to my list because I feel like I have a lot that I can choose from and the more I look the more I find which I am absolutely loving. As I mentioned this video is a bit of a mess. Um, not exactly what I was hoping for going into it but I think that in a way it was still kind of a recommendations video because I gave you guys an idea of what I'm looking into reading which could possibly help you find other books that you might be interested in as well. I feel like my, my reading is very limited. Like I said earlier, I when I find something I tend to stick to it and because of that um, I miss out on a lot of things. So I'm trying to branch out so if you have anything that you think I might enjoy or just have something that you want me to read let me know and I would do my best to check it out and I do apologize that this isn't like the traditional 
recommendations video is not really one I was wanting going into it but I'm hoping that it was still okay and I gave you guys like a starting point for the readathon. Um, I know that with all of the other co-hosts there will be a lot of videos going out and hopefully over all the other videos as well you will be able to come up with something to read if you haven't already but I think as of right now that's where I'm gonna leave it. I know this video is a mess but if you liked it give it a thumbs up and if you would like to see more from me make sure you subscribe and hopefully you are as excited as I am about participating in the readathon. Make sure you use the hashtag over on Instagram. I will see you guys again in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.